Anesthesia reveals our deepest secrets because it affects all of the nerves in our body. But let me show you on my body just how powerful the mind-body connection is. And you need to know this because when you can affect your mind, you can affect your body. These guys are cold. Whew. Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Cave, a board-certified Stanford and Harvard-trained anesthesiologist and integrative medicine specialist. And the single most dangerous behavior that so many of my patients have inside and outside the operating room is something that most patients have no idea they're doing to their own bodies and minds. And that is where they're choosing to place their attention. I'm not blaming any patients, but self-prophesizing and fortune-telling is so common in my patients before surgery and is so detrimental to their health. They're literally taking their own body apart without knowing that they also have the antidote to those cognitive distortions. It's where we choose to place our attention and what anesthesia reveals about our potential to heal ourselves. And stick around, because I'm gonna connect myself to the life support monitors to demonstrate just how much power our thoughts and mind have over our health and physical bodies. Anesthesia reveals our deepest secrets because it affects all of the nerves in our body. Every last inch of nerve in our body is being affected by anesthesia, whether it's liquid anesthesia like propofol, lidocaine, ketamine, or inhaled gas anesthesia like laughing gas or other anesthesia gases like the ones that come out of the ventilator behind me. Those nerves are not only in our brain to make us unconscious, but our kidneys, livers, blood vessels, lungs, everywhere in your body Body is affected by anesthesia. And that's why we have these life support monitors, all of these medications, and a ventilator because we need to manage your entire body when the nerves have gone haywire from how anesthesia is turning them all off. And something else has the potential to affect many, if not all of those nerves in your whole body. And it doesn't require a ventilator or propofol or ketamine. And that's the thoughts, verbalized or not, that are running through your brain how we choose to react to the events that happen around us and to our body. And this is why our attention is the most valuable resource on the planet. Forget that Google and Meta and everyone else is trying to buy your attention because it makes them a lot of money. Your attention can also heal your body because you can decide where you want to place your attention. When my patients come into the operating room and come on the table like you see here, and they're already telling me, hey doctor, I always have more pain than other patients, so give me more pain medication. Or doctor, I always wake up nauseous, so give me more nausea medication. This primes their brain to communicate with their body to actually wake up potentially with more nausea or wake up with more pain. We call this fortune telling and prophesizing because you can't predict the future, but when you begin to set up expectations, you're priming your body to actually play out what you think is going to play out for good or for bad health outcomes. Through the cranial nerves and spinal cord, all of the activity in our brain can potentially impact every last square inch of the rest of our body, just like how anesthesia can affect the rest of our body. This is why conditions like asthma, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, interstitial cystitis, and even heart disease are so related to our mental health state because those organs are all richly innervated by nerves that are being controlled by our brain and our thoughts, our reactions to life, and so much more. The body keeps score through that connection and that's why anxiety, PTSD, depression, and addictions can be revealed when you're under anesthesia and your nerves are being affected by the gas or the liquid IV. The fact that anesthesia can reveal these secrets through the mind-body connection confirms what we've known for thousands of years, and that's that if you can heal the mind, you can heal the body because they're connected. And in the same way, self-prophesizing, negative self-talk, our choice and how to react to the events that happen around us and to us also take advantage of that same mind-body connection for good or for bad. So when my patient already tells me that they're going to have pain and want to know how I'm gonna fix it, they have already begun strengthening the connection between their mind to feel more pain in their body after surgery. And this is why psychedelic medicine with ketamine, guided imagery, clinical hypnosis, or even acupuncture can take advantage of that connection to heal both sides of the spectrum 
And under anesthesia, this can be even more powerful because of the effect of all the anesthesia medications on all the nerves in your body. It's why we have to connect you to ventilators like you see here, why we have so many life support medications when you're asleep under anesthesia. And it's also seen on the life support monitors when you're asleep, like I'm gonna show you right now. You really have to be careful where you stick these so you don't rip the hair off your chest. These guys are cold. Whew. I'm on the monitor right now. In green is my electrocardiogram or EKG. In yellow is my pulse oximeter showing the oxygen level in my blood. That's the 98% here. Now, when I'm not paying attention to how I'm breathing, to what I'm thinking, to what I'm doing, my heart rate variability can go quite low and my heart rate can go up and my breathing might turn into a rapid shallow type of breathing that's all shown on the monitors here when i'm not paying attention to my body when i'm not mindful of how i'm breathing what i'm thinking of how i'm treating other people but i can change all that by being in touch with my body and paying attention to how i'm breathing you can compare what my ekg looks like now to me mindfully breathing. Just take a listen as I breathe in for five seconds in, five seconds out. You can immediately see the change in the EKG as I breathe mindfully, as I focus on what I'm paying attention to as opposed to being distracted or when I'm not aware of the thought patterns that might be looping around in my mind. Because of the mind-body connection, that cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve in particular, what I'm thinking up here actually plays out on the monitor over here. You see how the distance between these here is very different than the distance between these here? That's heart rate variability, that's mindful breathing, that's choosing where to place your attention in your body. And you have more power over that than you've probably ever been told.